Jeff Coates, with the honor to recognize you, sir. Welcome to our committee, and uh, we'll let you uh, present, and then you'll stay for questions, and then you have you have looks like you have ample backup back there. Should you need help? Yes, we do. We come well armed. <laughs> the funny choice of words, Tim. Yeah. Well, good morning, members, and uh, first of all, I want to report to you that the Florida Sheriff's Association, without question, supports the Second Amendment. Uh, constitutional rights to bear arms and encourage encourages responsible citizens to obtain concealed weapons permit and legally possess firearms and carry them in an authorized uh, concealed manner. Uh, going back to uh, Representative Swartz's comment earlier, uh, why do we need this uh, bill or this law? And that's my question too, uh, Representative. Uh, what's the problem? What's the issue? I understand it's about people's rights, but uh, people's rights need to be granted in, res in a responsible way for the right reasons. And I know we've heard some discussion about brandishing uh, weapons or accidentally displaying weapons that are concealed, and I cannot find a case anywhere where anybody was arrested in the state of Florida for that violation. And uh, perhaps it's just law enforcement uh, using good common sense if they are confronted with a, such a situation or receive such a complaint. The Florida Sheriff's Association is concerned that uh, allowing legal concealed weapon permit holders to uh, openly wear firearms will increase critical minutes between identifying individuals with potential criminal intent versus lawful citizens with a legal firearm. Uh, criminals will be able to use this delay and uh, uncertainty to their advantage. We have concerns what might happen at uh, retail stores in public venues, partic particularly large public venues as was uh, previously described by the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Parades in public areas, large gatherings. And I, t I tell you what really concerns me is um, uh, when law enforcement officers arrive to a scene or a call for service or disturbance or whatever, and they encounter somebody who, if this bill passes, is legally carrying, uh, openly carrying a firearm, poses great challenges for law enforcement. And I will tell you that with all the other law enforcement shootings that we've been experiencing here for the last year or so, we just had two more last week or within this last week in, in other states, Law enforcement is going to be on high alert, and when they arrive at a scene and they see somebody openly carrying, their attention is going to be focused to those, that individual or individuals. And I will dare say, and I, and I can't blame them for this, law enforcement is going to be drawing down on these folks until they neutralize the threat or make sure the individual is not a threat or a risk because they don't want to put themselves at great risk. And I don't blame them until they determine for sure what the exposure is and what the risk is. So that's, that's a real concern that I have. And, and, and if this bill passes and if that occurs, I hope the public bears with us and understands law enforcement concerns. Because I, I'm, I'm, and I, I'm confident, I don't want this to happen, but I'm confident it's gonna happen that law enforcement is going to start drawing their weapons and challenging these individuals and something bad may very well happen. And I just ask that you take that in consideration if you are consider supporting this bill. Again, Florida Sheriff's Association is uh, adamantly opposed to this legislation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Sheriff Coates. And I think we're gonna have, we have questions. Uh, Representative McBurney will start. Anybody else with questions will get uh, Missy's attention, please. 